everyone and welcome back to a brand new video i'm your host deeper jungle and today i'm going to be doing another call of duty commentary and for today's commentary i'm going to be doing a weapon guide on the ppsh 41 here in call of duty world war 2 also guys i just want to say one thing and that is in my usual weapon guide videos i go over the stats of the weapon however since the call of duty world war 2 beta is only a couple days old where i usually find the stats for these weapons are on the call of duty wiki and as of right now there are no stats for the ppsh 41 so so for this video i'm going be kind of skipping the part where i talk about the stats of the weapon also i just want to know about the gameplay in the background it is actually a ppsh 41 gameplay playing team deathmatch on arden's forest also i just want to say if that gameplay runs out before this video ends i'm going to be showing you another gameplay which is actually me using the ppsh playing point to hawk hardpoint so yeah also guys if you're enjoying today's video don't forget to leave a like on it down below let's see if we can get 10 likes on today's video that'll be absolutely amazing and yeah with all that out of the way let's actually get right into the video Video. On your screen right now, I actually have the class that I'm going to be using in this video. And as you can see, I have the PPSH-41, and the attachments that I have for this weapon is Quick Draw as well as Extended Mag. I really like Quick Draw on this weapon, and that is just because. I like being able to pull up my iron sights really fast, as well as Extended Mag is really good because the PPSH's fire rate is actually pretty high, as well as it actually looks pretty neat if you have the Extended Mag on the PPSH. So that's why I put on those specific attachments. The division that I'm going to be using, and that's going to be Airborne, the reason for this is airborne is really good for some machine guns because you can equip a suppressor to your submachine gun and then you can take it off if you don't want it anymore so that's how come i'm using the airborne division the basic training that i have for this class and that's going to be hustle the reason why i like this one and that is you can reload your gun really fast and that's actually kind of the overall theme for this class and that is a very fast paced class that you can use to run in and out of the enemy's spawn so yeah the secondary weapon that i'm going to be using in this class and that's going to be the p08 and that's just because this is the only secondary weapon that we have in the call of duty world war 2 beta as of right now and the lethal that i have and that is going to be a frag grenade so yeah now that i got the class out of the way i'm actually going to be talking about my opinions on this class and the playstyle that you're going to want to implement if you actually use this class for one, overall the PPSH is actually one of my favorite submachine guns in the entire game. When I first loaded up the Call of Duty World War 2 beta, I actually did not like the PPSH. However, now I really do like the PPSH, I think it is a really fun weapon. And the way that you're going to want to play with this class, and that is, you can play one of two ways. You can equip the suppressor to the weapon, and then you can actually use it kind of sneakily. However, what I really do like about this class, and that is if you want to, you can take off the suppressor, and then who knows, you might actually get a couple kills and decide to put the suppressor back on, and that's one thing that that I really do like about this class and that's it's very versatile and it is a lot of fun and again the reason why I decided to put the extended magazine on the PPSH and that's just because without the extended magazine it kind of looks a little bit weird however with it it gives it kind of a drum magazine which actually looks really neat so that's one of the main reasons why I decided to put an extended mag on it another reason of course and that's the PPSH's fire rate is actually pretty high so you want to get the most amount of ammo that you can possibly get with the PPSH so yeah if you're playing the Call of Duty World War 2 beta I would highly recommend that you go and check out this class. It's a lot of fun to use. So yeah, that's really been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please remember to leave a like as well subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to click the bell button down below to get a notification every single time I upload a new video. So that's really been it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one.